then the Jedi were fools as well as cowards. I'm not accusing you of being a coward. You now is there something? The Republic thinks my people. You should have destroyed us when you had our honor, our history, and our ways are something we sh only on the battlefield can you. Which is one of the reasons I travel with you. It, the Mandalorian clans will be united. But we live in... Now is there something...
just ahead. I believe you are strong enough to explore the tomb ahead. This tomb has not been plundered. Its mysteries may still be intact, but so might its traps. Take great caution. I just can't move forward. Can you do this without me? I know the dark side when I feel it. I'm not going to be able to pass here. I'll have to be the rear guard for this campaign. You will have to face the challenges of this tomb alone. Are you ready? Do not heed the words of the Jedi Council. The Republic will fall if we do not act now. Already the Mandalorians have taken three systems along the rim. They will only grow more powerful with time. Come stand with me. We will use our might to help the Republic in its time of need. Join Revan and I. Together we will battle this menace. You would fight your fate, Jedi? Violence before reason. Excellent. You make a worthy addition to our ranks. Oops. Thank <laughs> you. 
Qualcomm says we've lost another heavy droid transport. How can we break through the Mandalorian lines without support? The path is mined and the place is crawling with enemies. I know we've got our orders to press for. We already lost half the men just getting to the path. They've got the rest of the company pinned down by the... If you ask us to charge... We... We will press forward if you ask it. The path is mine. I'll tell the men, General. Everyone, you heard the General. Charge! Charge! <laughs>
are to be commended for making it this far. You've revisited the dark moments of your past, and now you must face the present. Your confusion is natural. The others and I will help you understand. Get away from her! She's a dark Jedi. Atten, I've had enough of your snide contempt. I will protect myself from this foul-mouthed ruffian. Hey, what's the commotion here? Stay out of this, Beodor. This is a personal dispute between Atten and myself. You're threatening Atten with a lightsaber, and I'm supposed to just stay out of it? No. The three of you would challenge me? You sorely underestimate the power of the Force. Think again, Kreia. Your dark influence will end. Your friends are all arrayed against me. Will you stand for this? You, of all people, would judge me so. Am I not worthy of redemption?
We have been linked together in this manner for a reason. The dangers you faced here should have illuminated your need for fellowship. Take care not to give in to vanity and arrogance. This breeds complacency and stagnation, as exhibited by the Jedi Council. Their prolonged inaction led inevitably to their downfall. The galaxy will bend itself only to those of strength and conviction. Search the room you are in. You should be... finally decided to let me take a look at your circuitry. Answer. Indeed, I did. I hope you want explanation. Powering. Worried you might be going up. Objection. Not even as unsafe. You don't have to suffer on my account. Retraction. You must understand. Disclosure. 
Um, it obviously couldn't have been you. Now, if you want me to see if I... Answer. In that case... Analysis. My self-diagnostic indicates that my performance has indeed been improved. Commentary. I am most pleased... You're welcome. If you've got some time, I'd like to see what I can upgrade for you. Yes, I do have a few moments to spare for your work. I would like to know what he is doing here, though. He helps me out with repairs. That isn't a problem, is it? I suppose not. Perhaps in working on my circuitry, your assistant will learn something about how a fully functional droid is constructed. Just ignore him and let's get to work. I would appreciate that. I'll right. Let's get you open. I have to say, you are put together quite well. <laughs> there wasn't much to do. As I told you, my design is streamlined and efficient, though I am pleased that you were able to make some improvements. There were a few things from my remote that I was able to integrate. I see. Iridonian, I would like to speak with you. My assistant? I believe he has it in his head that my relative size is comical. I find his disparaging beeps. I thought only utility droids. If I am to continue to operate with him, I would...
What is left of the Jedi has felt what has happened, the death of Master Kavar. You will find what remains in the ruins of the Enclave on Dantooine. This matter has come full circle, and there is something there that you must hear if you are to understand. What is left of the Jedi has... You will... This matter... What is left? No. What is left of the Jedi? You will find... This matter.
I heard you were responsible for driving the sub. I still got. Have you come to join the others? Or... been some time. Is it as you expected? Yes, and that is I, though I am not of them any longer. You are correct. Time is something that neither of us have. Your actions have crippled the order, perhaps destroyed them.
not know. Perhaps it is difficult to say. For every Jedi slain, for every Sith slain, another rises. But the Order is wounded, yes. Oh, yes. Your hate has destroyed them. You should be proud of the blood you have spilled, the lives you have ended. But before enjoying this victory, there is something we must discuss first. I have done what I can to keep you from the Jedi and the Sith, but a critical moment approaches, and what you have done is not enough. Master Vrook, despite his faults, was right to come here. I had thought he might have recognized Dantooine for what it was, what had been done there. You are tied to places such as these, you know. Yes, but Master Vrook was unwilling to see what other masters may have seen. That the echo of Dantooine he felt was inside you as well. They admitted it as much in the council chamber after your trial, though they did not understand what it meant at first. They assumed it was a threat that they felt. From one perspective, they were correct. As much as you can form connections to others, such connections exist on a galactic scale as well. It is possible to hurt or sever those connections, to create places in the Force where it is difficult to center oneself, but that is the crudest form of manipulation. It is possible to affect those connections in other ways, by the slightest action, a seemingly minor choice, a small cruelty. The stronger your connection to life, to the Force, the stronger these echoes can be made, and the stronger they are felt. When heard, Force sensitives instinctively seek out the source, are drawn to it to try and form a connection. And when the connection is formed, both become stronger, and the influence between them grows. Your companions, many are touched by the Force on some level, and in many ways, they serve out of compulsion and because your connection influences them strongly. It was much like it was for you in the Mandalorian Wars, with many Jedi under your command. But this connection has other consequences. When the Source is wounded, the one on which others draw strength, then they are wounded as well. What one feels, the other feels. And when others die, the scream travels back to the Source. If they occur at the same time, or at the right time, these screams will build upon each other until it is the only sound you can hear. And the deaths of many will cause the screams to build until their pain becomes yours, and you die as well. And that is why, during the Mandalorian Wars, you lost your connection to the Force. It was that final battle, the deaths of so many Jedi, that caused you to lose your connection. It caused the wound that you feel now. It caused pain in the Force, an emptiness, a wound that has yet to heal. But it does not end there. If it did, then perhaps the threat that we face would be more manageable. This pain I describe, the echo of these acts, is true of planets as well. Tremendous loss of life on a planetary scale can also cast echoes, create a scream, a wound in the Force that can travel across the galaxy. It can be felt by Force sensitives, and it can influence them, whether they realize it or not. If enough of these echoes are allowed to build in the Force uncontrolled, the consequences could be disastrous. The connections of all life would be affected. Yes, in that he was correct. But like Vr as I have said, screams, and, and anything that can... But in order for this, to, even the ones that come from a lone exile echoing across the galaxy. And when that exile forms connections to others as you do, the danger becomes apparent. The e yes, he is correct. You form such bonds easily. The why of it is not important now. All that is important is that you understand that your actions affect others strongly. Anyone can do such things since life is connected by the Force. Sometimes the connections are faint, but in your case, they are very strong. 
you instinctively know how to manipulate such connections to influence others. You have seen it mirrored in those who travel with you. You give others strength to act, but it is also possible to draw upon the strength of others to increase your own. It is similar to drawing upon the Force, as Jedi do, but when it is touched by the power of the dark side, it is something else, something deadly. These Sith we face, they have learned how to do this. It is a, they can use it to consume other... F the blind seer. I fear he may even rival some of the ancient Sith. He is already more of a force than a living thing, a hole in the force that threatens to draw everything into it. And the teaching must die with him, or else all life will be placed in jeopardy. The destruction of the Order, the Masters. It was not an end in itself, but now this has been corrected. And now the sides of this conflict are as I had thought them to be. There are no more unknowns. But this moment is all that really matters. It was never my wish that you find the Masters, only find yourself. Although I did not expect them to still live. I had not just of battle, but of yourself and the Force. know if killing them if revenge brought you in that is your wish not mine there is strength in defeating an enemy not slaying them I merely wished them to see that they and their teachings were wrong that one could not truly understand the force simply by adhering to the Jedi code all I have ever trained have been failures to them Students who went to fight the Mandalorians, who f to see one that had the strength to best them, that is a moment I will not forget. Yet, it has not been as satisfying as I had hoped. To best one in battle is one thing. To defeat them without striking a blow, that was my hope. Regardless, it had to be done. To have such powerful Jedi still live still be felt in the Force, even on such worlds as they had chosen, was a threat that had to be ended. That is not important. First, let us return to my question. If, by killing these Jedi, It was as I thought. You have failed me completely and utterly. I have taught you to hear the Force again, shown you the contrast, and yet still you do not understand. This is what you have wrought. Countless murderers, slayers, assassins, born of war that has, as always, taught the wrong lesson. You showed them life without the Force. And instead of showing them truth, power, all you showed them was how the galaxy may die. You are responsible for all of this. Even now, events spiral towards destruction, and there is nothing that can be done because you refuse to listen, to understand. You have seen the effects you have on those close to you, heard the echoes scream across dead planets, and watched as your strength has grown. Yet it is for nothing to have the Jedi Masters brought low by such a failure. <laughs> Do you feel that exile? It cuts through your defenses, as unprepared for such an attack as you are. Let that pain be a lesson and a reminder of what you have forgotten. You were my last hope. The only one who could change what is to come. And now you have left me nothing. I shall teach you no longer. Our bond remains, but that is all. This place will hide you from the Sith for a time. Enough to do what must be done. Stay here and die, apprentice. 
among the wreckage of all that remains of the Jedi. It is a fitting grave until the Sith. It is done. She is no more. Take me to Atris. She will have the strength to do what the Council cannot. You have taught them to bond with others and then feed on what you have brought is the death of all who can feel the Force. It is your gift to the galaxy, Exile. And unless you hear it, and silence the echo you have caused, then every living thing everywhere that is touched by the Force will die. If I lose her, it will be my failing. It is the failing of the Jedi who followed Revan. It is a failing of their teaching. Soon your ship will come, my master. I will bring her before you, but I will not let you have her. Soon your ship shall come from that which made you. I know you can hear me. I have always known. It is why I followed you. I have destroyed planets for you, General. But now, this once, if we could save something in this galaxy, I need to do... She's gone. The handmaidens came for her. They know who she is now. They'll take her to Telos, and Atris will do what she'll do with anyone she thinks is a... Yeah, she will. If she can. That's what I was afraid you'd say. Is something wrong? You look troubled. I can feel it.
I do not understand what you mean. Never. I believe in what we are doing, what you are doing. I am here because I choose to be. I simply do. There is nothing I can show you as proof, except give you my word. Something happened within the Enclave. What is it? Then they do not understand you. That is the danger of being a Jedi. When one separates themselves from others, chooses to lead a life of... And such judgments, I believe, are... You change others, but I do not believe it is... Where they look at you and see the death of the four... And that perhaps a life lived without the... I will understand if you feel you must go alone. Instead, take strength from your connections to others. Do not forsake them, as you did in exile. There are others who need to know you. Tilo... Admiral Anessi, I have found the Exile, and that which hunts the Jedi. The Sith will attack Telos. They believe many Jedi lie hidden on its surface. We are going there now to aid them. Mikal out. Who is there? Who I am is not the question. I am Atris, Jedi Master. The last historian of the Jedi. The last of the Jedi. Those are titles, words you cling to as the darkness falls around you. It is not the first time we have met, Atris. I was here... before. With the Exile? Yes, I was here both times when the Exile was brought before you. Who are you? I was the one who asked her to be exiled. I did as you asked, so long ago. You... you seem familiar to me. Atris, I have always been here. You are that which has attacked the Jedi. You are Sith. Sith is a title, yes, but like you, the title is not who I am. It is not what I believe. For you, it is different. Know that there was once a Darth Treyer, and that she cast aside that role, was exiled. But there must always be a Darth Treyer, who has been betrayed in their heart. You have bathed in the knowledge of the Sith. But there is not... You have gathered Sith holocrons, Sith teachings from across the galaxy. And most importantly, they cannot feel what you have become. I have sought to preserve the Jedi Order, and I have gathered all that I know of the Sith to this place, so I might find them and stop them. I had wondered if any of these holocrons had survived Dantooine. You have taken relics from one destroyed planet. It was always intended for the Jedi to retreat to Telos should Dantooine be attacked, taking all their lore with them. We could not allow the tragedy at Osis to happen again. Such an act marked Telos for destruction. It is why the Sith came here, though the fleet commanders did not. It is why Revan ordered its destruction to mark the beginning of the Jedi's civil war. It was a message that there would be no place for the Jedi to retreat, to hide. I would not be surprised. When the Sith attacked, turbo lasers fell like lightning upon the landscape, as they did on Dantooine. Yes, such act. How did it happen? Search your heart. Alicor Five has touched many things, and it cut. Why did she betray me? You betrayed yourself, and unlike you and I, there is still a chance that one may be saved, the one that you cast out. Where is the... Oh, she will come. But it is such a quiet thing to fall, but far more terrible is to admit it. Your mistress awaits. She has much.
You said you would come here to this place. If you think you can defeat me here, you are wrong. All this collected knowledge, all these teachings, of, and if I must use it to end you. Very well, let us end this. this. You have done well. All is as I have foreseen. There must always be a Darth Treya, and if it will not be her, then I must assume that role, and as always, bring about Save your questions. I am not here, not in the flesh, not in your mind. These holocrons hold much of the Sith, and... But you have much yet to learn. And great tests await you. The death... One of the Sith Lords has come to Telos. You know why he has come here, and if he is not... You must confront him. He is part... Only then shall you be ready for your final test. If not, then you shall die. You know where the final test lies. It is not here, not in the... And know that if you do not come to me, if you run from this, then I shall sacrifice myself. And you know where you must travel, and there... Well, what do we have here? I didn't believe it when Lino reported the Ebon Hawk at Dock, but I guess it really has. Though given the trouble we've been having, maybe I shouldn't be surprised to see you. You look terrible. What happened to you? Some sort of plague growing around? You were looking for me, Gren? About time you showed up. The Sith are moving to keep us trapped. Sounds like you need someone to punch a hole for you. That's the idea, yes. All right then. You'll have one Sith-sized hole coming up. Let's go, boys. It came out of nowhere. A fleet of warships dropped up. There were Sith fighters everywhere. We did our best, but we couldn't stop the landing craft that we were unprepared. It's a good thing you got us that fuel from Slayron, because if we didn't have it, we'd probably... But there's still another problem. The Citadel's no battle station. It wasn't built to withstand this sort of it. The Sith numbers seem limitless. But we haven't lost all hope. We've heard reports. If you need to get to the Ravager, then you're going to have to fight your way to the shuttle from here to the entertainment module, then make your way to the docking shuttle. Does this mean you won't be putting us into force cages again? I thought I saw you disembark with Beodur. Is he here? Now that you mention it, where is he? I guess it's no time to be swapping war stories anyways. Good luck.